All right, so welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the basic electronics that goes on the robot, the basic parts, uh, what each part does, and how to wire them up in order to get a robot that's up and running. So to begin with, we have our robo reel. This is the computer of our robot. As you can see, there are many different pins, so we're going to break this down uh, real simple. Right here, this provides power to the robo reel. These are called DIO pins. They provide an on or off signal for things such as switches. So if you press a switch, that's what this stuff is mostly used for. You have a robot signal light. That's what this thing is. And this just basically controls the light on your robot. These are relays, which are electronic switches. These are analog in, which is for sensors. This is for custom things, which isn't really necessary for, be, for getting a robot up and necessary. This is more advanced. And then you have your PWM signals. These are used for controlling more fine tune, such as motors. You want to control the speed. Here you have, so it's another thing for sensors. This is your ethernet cable. You can download code through it, and you also connect it to your modem, which is your Wi-Fi. We'll talk about that later. This is also for you to download your program. And then these right here are USBs where you can attach things such as cameras. Next up is the power distribution board. This power distribution board provides the power to your entire robot. As you can see, you have things on the side that these are mainly used for providing power to the, uh, to the motors. So these connect to the motors. Right here, these provide power to your more sensitive parts, such as the robo reel and the VC, uh, the VRM, which we'll talk about shortly. You have a CAN bus, which is a way of wiring motor control controllers. We'll talk about that shortly as well. And then you have a bunch of these slots. These slots are fuses. In order for any one of these uh, motors to get power, you have to put a fuse. For the bigger ones, they're 40 amp fuses, and for the smaller one, they're 20 amp fuses. And if you do, and what this does is basically, if the amperage, uh, if the current going through the motor is too high, it breaks and it stops power to the motor, and this helps stop your robot from overheating. And as you can see here, there are fuses as well, and these are 20 amp fuses and 10 amp fuses respectively to help protect your more sensitive parts. Um, never shorts your fuses; they provide. Uh, they're there to protect your robot, and these are just regular car fuses. Next up is the circuit, prayer, uh, circuit breaker. This is the kill switch of the entire robot. If, more, if too much current, 120 amps to be exact, goes to your robot, this thing is going to cut off, and that protects your robot from overheating and destroying some sensitive parts. And it's also a kill switch. So anytime you want to stop your robot, just press this red button, and it stops, uh, it stops the current to the robot. And then anytime you want to attach it, uh, you turn on the power, just press this thing in. Next up is the modem. This provides the connection between your robot and your computer in order for you to drive it wirelessly. Um, you have to configure your modem and your robo reel on your computer, but that's uh, for software. Next up is the VRM, the voltage regulator module. This provides power to your more sensitive components that don't require as much electricity, such as your motor. And this helps protect your uh, this helps protect your components by not frying them. You can see that there are different requirements for the electricity depending on how sensitive your parts are. Next up is the motor controllers. Now there are two main types of motor controllers: one that get controlled by the deep PWM on the robo reel, and one that gets controlled by the CAN bus. We'll talk about both uh, in a little while. These are called uh, talons. Uh, these are Talon motor controllers and they use the CAN bus. Here we have a bunch of them um, wired together because we've done this earlier. But each one is a separate unit and they have uh, two wires that go into the power distribution board to get power and two wires that connect to the motor in order to, connect, uh, to control the motor. And then you have these green and yellow wires which are the CAN bus. And uh, you're supposed to connect them all in one series and we'll talk about that in a little while but that's how the talons re uh, essentially work. They're, they're controlled by the CAN bus. The spark controllers are very similar, but uh, instead of being controlled by the CAN bus, um, they are controlled by a PWM, which is usually uses a wire like this. This wire plugs into the spark controller at this point, and then this plugs into the robo reel. And as you can see, there are two par uh, parts here. One side connects into the uh, power, which is right here, it says power. The other side connects into the motor. And you just have to 
uh, configure your parts, you have to in, uh, attach an attachment at the very end to connect them to your spark controllers.